We speak <clears throat> as the Sasani, mass consciousness. We trust that you are just as we are, always acting on your highest excitement in anything and everything that you could possibly do. And we trust that this is also how we, together now, have co-created this idea once again of an interlinking, of a communication, of truly, in a sense, a bridge between worlds which still in some way, shape or form may be deemed as, if you will, somewhat distant to each other, somewhat separated. So you are creating these various ideas of permission slips and communications through your own higher self to allow yourself to ease yourself into that, if you will, particular parallel version of yourself where the idea of, if you will, open contact with so-called etheric species is not merely a thought, is not merely a channeling process, is not merely an imagination, but actually truly already now is a physicalized reality just as well. So we would like to thank you for once again, if you will, deliberately establishing this connection, deliberately strengthening this particular link for you understand that you are, as you are within everything, perfectly free to choose your own scenario of whether you prefer contact or not or what version and idea of contact you prefer. So you're absolutely and completely self-empowered in writing your very own and very unique story of contact. So in this way, we marvel at your originality in that sense. And now would kindly like to ask you in what way we may be of service to you in this present now. Hello, hello, and thank you for coming. Well, thank you for joining with us in this way. Yeah, would you explain to me uh, more about uh, how uh, this actually is happening uh, from the collective to, to us? Uh, is, is there... Uh, is there still one person talking uh, from your society through Rafael? <clears throat> well, first we would ask of, in that sense, how you would arrive at this idea of a 1%, even though we understand this is a common term in your own language. One person, person. <clears throat> <clears throat> Kindly repeat your question. <clears throat> I was asking if there is uh, still one person talking uh, from the SSNA civilization through Rafa, or is it, uh, how, how does that work if collective is speaking, then uh, how do you agree on what, what has to be said? We would suggest that just as your own consciousness has as well, through the idea of your own, in a sense, mythology and your own archetypes, you have, in a sense, all of you together, simultaneously co-created the idea of various, if you will, etheric layers in a sense, let us say, above your own conscious minds, with which many other civilizations are actually interacting all the time, 
many different species, many different entities are interacting with you through that particular layer, which you may in some way, shape or form also liken to your own dream layer. Because as you understand from your own dreams, you are not yet remembering all of those interactions and all of the information contained on these levels. So in that sense, we would suggest that while many of us are simultaneously aware, also individually, when these communications are going on, we also have this idea of various levels, various layers, if you will, of our own mass identification from which much, if you will, of the core information, the core lore, the core knowledge of the Sasani society may actually be gleaned. And the same in that sense goes for you. When we connect with your consciousness, it is not always, if you will, necessary to specifically connect to only one particularized entity. But in this way, we allow ourselves equally to be in that sense relayed through your own mass consciousness and through your own planetary consciousness in that sense, which is then in a most dynamic fashion, if you will, connecting us to different bits and pieces of the individuals upon your planet whom then may be aware of these communications specifically and consciously or not if you can follow this description <clears throat> yes yes <clears throat> no uh well st still it might be confusing to me are you connecting then from uh the one particular uh, time uh, where where you are there in the same uh, same stage of evolution, or or are you connecting to different times of your of your existence of your society? <clears throat> or would suggest that even here you may glean, if you will, certain similarities, which in a sense have always been extant within our own society. For you understand that in many ways we are a, if you will most consciously, deliberately, and purposefully created civilization, just as you as well, are as well. Potentially just with the, if you will, slight difference that we, even from our initial setup, have been created in a sense with a certain momentum, with a certain direction, and with, if you will, a particular high degree of assistance in terms of balancing out our own energies. So even here, if you would, in that sense, glean us, if you will, as a quite young civilization and glean us in a more advanced state, from, which is also the state from which we generally establish connections to you, still you would recognize quite a few similarities in terms of the basic energy and basic ideas that we convey. Yet, if you will, to give a generalized answer, it would, of course, <clears throat> in totality, if you will, let us say, more congruent to connect with you from a state within which our own concepts and our own ideas are already quite somewhat more refined in this sense. If you can get the picture we wish to relay in this sense. <clears throat> yes, I understand. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, another thing that I'm curious about is uh, the, about uh, about my my uh, channel or or the being that I usually channel, um, she's hybrid that uh, that was raised by by you. Uh, would you see her or or feel her there so, somewhere in, in the collective that is talking? <clears throat> well, let us say we are getting a picture. The idea being that this entity, in that sense, being female, actually having the idea of, if you will, long hair within the identification that we can locate at this point. <clears throat> <clears throat> what is the, if you will, question you would wish to ask, or what is the specific interaction that you are, in this sense, looking for? Well, nice. That means you see her, and then... Uh... Well, I see her differently, perhaps. Maybe, maybe it's different uh, than I think. And maybe it's, uh, maybe I'm uh, thinking that uh, that she's uh, feline hybrid, and then she's actually uh, gray and, and human hybrid. Is it possible? I would suggest, within this study, in particular, with the association of what you may generally deem the idea of 
feline hybrid. What we may suggest is to remind yourself of the idea of the identificator, if you will, of the fox related with the entity you understand to be Willa Illa Crissing within the hybrid population, merely as a symbol or, if you will, to allow you to even take a closer look upon this particular idea of whether this entity in actuality is what you would deem, if you will, a feline hybrid, or whether this is more the idea, if you will, of a cryptic shapeshifter or another energy that is congruent with that idea. Can you understand what we are saying? Yes, yes, it makes sense. So the idea may be that you may actually, if you will, glean one particular version, one particular image of that entity, yet that entity in actuality has the capacity to present itself in many different ways, which you understand is one, if you will, of the stages of mastery that in a sense is also within the lore of, of the hybrid population, if you will. <clears throat> I see, I see. So, uh, yeah, that confirms what, what I'm thinking. Uh, uh, before I started this as a sunny stream uh, channel panel, I was uh, uh, connecting with her and she seemed to me really like large consciousness and, uh, and uh, unlimited non-physical and uh, changing uh, uh, appearances, appearing at the multiple places at the same time and all of that. And, uh, and, uh, from the channelings, I know that she's connecting to to different versions of herself uh, more and more probably, and and uh, and uh, now when I started this uh, this Asasani channel panel, I uh, felt like I was connecting with uh, her at a young age before I knew her. Yeah, so maybe that's that's what it's. <coughs> Yes, it would in general, if you will, confirm your indications, if you will. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, is there something that you want to uh, say to Raphael? <clears throat> well, I would suggest in this way, if you will, this idea of a, <clears throat> let, let us say, short circuit is quite well established between us and the conduit in this sense. There are in actuality many different communications, if you will, going on on many different levels in varying stages of waking and non-waking consciousness. <clears throat> Is there something more specific that you would wish to understand in this regard? Mm, I think it's sufficient, all right. And yeah, thank you. And. Um... Well, I, I had a line of thought, but I forgot it. <laughs> um. <sighs> yes. Uh, so, uh, I had I had several experiences of uh, seeing your civilization or, or people from your civilization and uh, they seem to me they were laughing all the time uh, what, what's what's true about that well the idea would be in general if you will in a sense <clears throat> that this may be if you will the primary translation for your own human mind in reference to our energy we would suggest that you have in that sense intuited and even perceived our energy quite accurately. Simply in that sense, the laughter being reflective, being symbolic in this way of the permanent state of excitement within which we find ourselves, the permanent state of joy, the permanent state in that sense of unconditional self-acceptance and equally connectedness with any and all of creation and of course in particular with all entities within our own society. So just if you will in that sense, Remind yourself in this way, if you will, also of your own parallel connections to our and other societies. And in this sense, simply imagine, if you will, a planet with a population supremely connected to one another in this way, if you will, a permanent festival of positively polarized entities in this sense, would you not feel equally, if you will, excited 
and joyous, just as we do within your perception. Wonderful. So uh, that means that uh, you are not laughing all the time, or and it's just my interpretation of the energy that you have. Well, we would suggest, if you will, in in that sense, correlation to your own energy. If you will, even our most basic state, in that sense, from your perspective, may already be perceived as this idea of a heightened idea of joy and laughter. <clears throat> Yet, let us say, socially speaking within our own interactions, it is quite different, for we do not in that sense laugh as you do, for we are at this point telepathically connected to each other. So it is more in that sense, not if you will, as it is within your experience, if you will, a spike of emotion necessarily, but it is always, if you will, the permanent undercurrent and foundation of the energy of our entire society. <clears throat> yeah. you follow what we are saying? Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, perfect answer. Um, so I, I might uh, ask a personal question for myself. Um, what would you do your best? <laughs> what would you recommend uh, for me to uh, be able to relax uh, and, uh, and not? Uh, Um, like I am, ha I'm having um, surges of energy in in my body uh, very often on in different places, and uh, and I know, and it feels like pain, you know, and I know it's just energy coming through, um, and I'm not allowing it. Would you recommend me something to allow it more? Well, you understand. As you may have heard before, that all pain in actuality, in this sense, is some idea, some type, some degree of resistance to your own most natural self, to your own most natural expression. So in that way, of course, within the moment, we would encourage you <clears throat> for yourself to develop any type of permission slip, yet at the same time, also in that sense, you say this is a personal question. At the same time, if you will, in particular within these states, allow your consciousness to expand beyond yourself. <clears throat> and even in this sense, as you now understand that you are, in actuality, connected with and equal to all that is, ask in that sense your guides, ask your planetary consciousness, Gaia, to in that sense assist you in the, if you will, decompression of the energy, even if you will, in the lifting of the blockade, and most certainly also, if you will ask Gaia in that sense to assist you in grounding yourself. This of course associated, as you already know, with the idea of your own breath. Equally, you may wish, if you will, to have to spend extended periods of time in the proximity of, if you will, as many trees as you can collect around yourself, let us say, for this would naturally connect you with a quite different type of electromagnetic field than what you may generally be used to, especially when living within what you understand to be a city. So this may very well help you, along with the idea of simply walking around barefoot. As you understand, this may greatly assist, even on the physical level, your own biological system in that sense to decompress and to load off in that sense any excess <clears throat> energy that it may have accumulated and equally also simply upon asking in that sense for assistance from yourself as your higher self, as your planetary consciousness, that will most certainly also help you to in this way decompress and relax. <clears throat> yes, thank you. And, uh... <clears throat> Are these ideas that you are already familiar with? Have you already employed these techniques? Yes, yes, yes. That uh, I I enjoy very much. I'm really much drawn to the forest nearby, and and I like to go walk bare, barefoot. So this is uh, I, I was doing it already, <laughs> and uh, and thank you. I will connect to Gaia and ask for assistance. Yes. 
We are not surprised that it is nothing new that we are sharing it. We would ask whether you are at this point already, if you will, engaging in that activity in the most exciting way, and whether you are already, if you will, engaging in that activity to the degree, and if you will, for the duration, that you truly prefer to wish to engage in it. Yeah, I would prefer to spend at least like 15 minutes a day there or a half an hour uh, but uh, not always um, um, uh, it's pulling me out enough I would say sometimes I, I like to stay home especially when there's bad weather outside <laughs> well understand that we are most certainly if you will not attempting if you will to pressure you in this way and also that you may find even within your city locale of course, you're equally connected to the planetary consciousness, if you will. It is still all, if you will, one consciousness. You are still one unified society, even if you may find yourself in different ideas of regions or different ideas of artificial structures. The change of the environment to the forest is simply another permission slip and simply makes use, if you will, of already predefined ideas within your reality to make it easier to connect Yet, of course, even within your own, if you will, quote unquote, four walls, you may develop other permission slips. You may also potentially, if you will, develop more specific relationships to certain of your plants or if there are certain animals around. But the plant idea may be the most suitable to find, if you will, another reference point there, which would also equally connect you to that energy and that frequency idea of the forest which is simply an idea and a frequency that is more in tune, let us say, with your own natural state of least and no resistance, if you can understand what we are saying. Yes, yes, thank you. And, uh, uh, another thing that, that is drawing me to the forest is uh, a few of my experiences where I... Um, where I saw the light, I would say, or... Um, I saw that the reality is is made out of um, this swirling um, light and uh, I saw light beings and I saw uh, different fauna and flora in uh, on the pathways where, where people walk there was growing uh, things and people were simply walking through it but uh, uh, I want this more I want to see this more because I believe it's kind of like uh, it's another density earth that is right here. <laughs> yes, very much so. <clears throat> so now you have expressed your desire. What is your question? Yeah, my question is, uh, is how to do, do that more? It, it, well, I know that when I simply stand in the window and, and stare out, I, I'm, I'm able to see that. And when I uh, experience this small that I, uh, as I call it, then I see it, uh, but re really faintly, and I want to see it, uh, let's say, on demand and and more strongly than I do. Well, we understand in that sense your question, and we also understand if you will, you desire. At the same point, of course, you understand already that. Also here, if you wish to develop yourself further in this regard, if you wish to tune your frequency more clearly to this particular idea of a reality and of a perception, then of course, first of all, we would refer you back to the last question, to our last, if you will, conversation in terms of truly engaging in these activities and also physically locating yourself within that idea where it is, seems most easy to access these frequencies, such as the forest in your case, truly to the degree that it excites you, which may potentially be quote unquote more than what it was previously, simply to more and more consciously, each and every time that you are within that particular locale, anchor yourself to that particular perception, even within your own imagination, potentially even with open eyes, simply in that sense, overlay this feeling Tune yourself into that emotion which connects you with that particular reality 
And you may even, as a game within your own mind, if you will, draw up these etheric ideas of plants that you had seen, even if you do not physically perceive them, simply look around, even with open eyes, and imagine them. Imagine them also with closed eyes. Connect yourself to the feeling that reminds you of that particular dimension, that particular reality. And also here equally, connect with these entities, even if you would deem them to be quote unquote plants or any other idea of entities, you know they're equally conscious. So you may also in this sense consciously within these states, invite them and ask them in that sense to reveal themselves to you. <clears throat> wow, yeah, yeah, wonderful. And that's... So truly enter into communication with them. You are never cut off from them, whether you can see them or not. And in that sense, to that degree, they are even, let us say, aware of you, aware that you have taken a peek at them. <clears throat> yes, they, they are much more aware than or, or seen um, these plants around me uh, that I see now are uh, aware of me now too, but, uh, but these react and, uh, and move and and grow uh, like not not grow but but stick out the flower out of the ground or something you know just uh, to see me and uh, and uh, interact with me so it's it's much more alive there <laughs> yes 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 that is if you will congruent with the idea of what you would generally describe let us say a higher frequency a higher density in a sense more let us say interaction in that way being expressed on that level simply exactly. because it contains the capacity for if you will in a sense the representation of a higher bandwidth let us say yes yes uh, and i want to ask specifically about this uh, i was in very old building and i saw this I saw entities uh, growing from the wall, or and and uh, uh, I remember that I saw this when I was when I was really small. I don't remember the picture, but I remember the feeling. And uh, and yes, when I co connect to this feeling of seeing this thing uh, uh, growing out of wall, uh, straight. Uh, uh in, in straight line you know it was not straight line it was like waving uh, tendrils or waving um, hairs yeah uh it was i know it was alive and when i connect to this i i i feel that i'm going deeper so thank you yes i will do well then again we thank you for allowing us to reaffirm what you already know <laughs> And uh, yeah, so now, now uh, again about you. So uh, you you feel non-physical to me. Is this true, or or are you uh, are you still physical? <clears throat> well, the idea would be again if you will if you would sense our energy from your own perception as a reference point even though you yourself understand you're in a sense becoming more and more not physical in a way not really but in terms of let us say becoming aware that you are connected you understand that our society primarily if you will is resonating within the idea of what you would now understand to be fifth density in that sense so in that state we are, if you will, the least physical we could be, if physical at all. I see, I see. Yes, uh, so, and uh, that, that uh, kind of connects to my first question, that uh, from what time are you actually connecting? Can you, can you uh, now um, focus through your uh, future totally non-physical self or, or even your next incarnation and, and uh, really information. <clears throat> Can we restate the last part of your question? Yes, uh, 
Actually, what I'm asking is, uh, are you uh, now, as this conversation goes on, and you have answered this somewhat in the first question, uh, are you connecting from different uh, uh, referential times, uh, let's say, uh, in a, in a first session that we had, my uh, channel, uh, she said that uh, there is certain um, time synchronization that is uh, uh, taking cue mainly from Daryl Anka, who channels Bashar, who, who is connecting to certain time in the future. But uh, uh, I would feel more like it's it's different times for different people. Is, is this true? And for you, uh, can you connect through from different times here? Well, the idea would be that if you will, from a certain point within our own development, we have truly, if you will, <clears throat> mastered many of the challenges that our, if you will, ancestors, civilizations had been struggling with. From that point forward, at the very least, let us say, we very much focused and much more of our energy in exploring, if you will, the entirety of the universe known and unknown to us. So there would be, in a sense, a certain demarcation line from which there would be an even more marked increase in communication between us and other societies. Yet, of course, also, we would like to remind you of your own, if you will, collective, but ultimately only individual manifestation abilities. For there is a good reason why you, in that sense, have created uniquely for yourself, individually, a reality where you create the certain idea of a consensus reality with, if you will, other aspects of yourself, your fellow humans, we will then create the idea of certain permission slips also in relation to our society, such as the entity you understand as Bashar, channeled by Daryl Anka. So there is a certain, if you will, agreement that you yourself agreed to in that sense, in manifesting this particular version also of that entity and those communications. Yet, of course, at the very same time, while this made us then serve in this way as a common ground for many of you, each and every one of you always will connect in that sense to a version of us, to a parallel idea of our society, which is the most acutely attuned in that sense to our frequency as it relates only always to your own frequency. So while you have in that sense certain collective agreements in this regard, you also of course always have your most individualized connection just as well. <clears throat> Can I... you follow this description? Yes, yes, thank you. That was a nice answer. <laughs> It put things together, and uh, yeah. Mm, um, um, another thing I want to ask. Uh, I'm rolling uh, joint now, and uh, uh, I feel like <laughs> what I want to do it, but I'm not sure uh, if. Uh, if this is kind of appropriate uh, well there are two things i would i would feel that it's in, inappropriate and then i wouldn't do it but then i, I would know that i'm judging myself <laughs> and then, then i would do it you know so uh, what would you say to this <clears throat> well we would first before we give our answer what do you imagine we would say about this well i imagine that that you you say just go for what, whatever you feel you want to do, but uh, uh, there's always this um, uh, thing that I might be doing it uh, out of anxiety, not, not out of uh, ex excitement. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to discern, really. Well, even if you would, for whatever reason, deem that you are not able to discern it at this present point, you may even engage in any activity you are unsure of, if you will, in that sense, for a moment, and then again feel into that state and simply sense whether that activity then shifts you to a state or of anxiety or a state of self-acceptance. And then if you will, after 
upon completion of that experience, again, allow yourself to review yourself in the moment and in totality and simply discern of whether that, if you will, is an idea that still truly excites you to engage in. And if it is so, you already are aware of our answer. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> yes, that makes perfect sense. So is anything, uh, I, I think I ran out, ran out of questions. <laughs> anything else you want to say? <clears throat> Well, at this point, we would simply like to thank you once again for the establishment, the conscious, in that sense, deliberate, if you will, seeking out of this particular connection. We would, in this way, also equally encourage you, if you will, if you wish, to further engage in these ideas of collaborations in that sense, for just as in that sense we are creating new connections between, in that sense, our civilization and your civilization. And you now only, if you will, more and more come to understand how interwoven we actually are, how many different layers of connections in that sense there actually are. We would also like to remind you that in that sense, even each and every one of you, each what you would deem human entity, as you understand, is a universe unto themselves. You are a universe unto yourselves. So just as you are exploring the connections between your society in that sense and other etheric societies through your imagination, you may equally explore the connections between you and any and all of the humans upon your planet and may discover, if you will, quite many interesting, if you will, correlations, parallel ideas, and most certainly find that in totality, you have set yourself up, if you will, as the perfect puzzle piece that may always be in its most natural expression act in perfect synchronization with any and all other puzzle pieces in that sense and the more you allow yourself in this way to see the complete picture the more you will relax in this way into your most natural form of energy your most natural form of expression for it will be most clear to you that this path, if you will, of least resistance and highest excitement simply is, if you will, the natural order that provides the perfect, in that sense, fit and the most joy for each and every one of you, where you never need to conform, you never need to be afraid, you never need, in that sense, if you will, to think twice. But you will know that you are in perfect and divine orchestration always. So thus then, with this idea, we would truly <clears throat> thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much and thank you for allowing me to, to really get uh, feel familiar with you and and uh, there's no words that that can express uh, <laughs> thank you very much yay